Oh my god. Show me. Show me your beautiful face. I'm so eager to see it. Good girl. Or boy. Don't know which you are yet. Take your time. Take all the time that you need. Don't feel any pressure from me. Wow. You know? Being strong also means taking your time. Same is true for moths and the same is true for humans. You know, doing hard things, it requires you to take the time, sometimes to rest and find your strength, but also to keep pushing, you know. I think that um, that's something we can learn from moths. Oh my gosh. And I think it's almost ready. It's so close. Can you see it? <gasps> there you are. Oh my gosh. It's almost ready. Oh, there you are. There's your tiny face. It looks like you're a male. Welcome! Welcome to this world. Oh. My. Gosh. Adorable. Adorable. I'm so proud. And it looks like we have a Luna Moth people. Now its wings are kind of, look kind of like stumps. That's because it's yet to inflate those wings using some of their own fluid of its body. Therefore we should leave it alone after a certain amount of time. It's going to find a place to inflate its wings now. How precious, how beautiful. How adorable. Wow. You are so precious. If someone ever hurts you, they'll have to answer to me. I will literally die for you. Okay, maybe not literally, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. The first thing that moths do when they come out of their cocoon is climb up. They have to find a place to hang. Usually upside down is what they prefer. So let's place it here on this uh, dummy. See if it will accept it. If so, if it likes what it sees, it will stop walking, sit still and then start pumping fluid into its wings. Wings don't, yes, this behavior, see it's testing if it is uh, stern enough, if it's not unstable, pulling its legs. And from this point and beyond, it's going to inflate the wings. Oh, this is beautiful. That is fantastic.
Wow, incredible. I love you. With each cell in my body, I love you. You are so precious, so beautiful, so awesome. This is the end result of our journey, people. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, just like a moth, all of us go through hardships in life. Our life consists of several stages. Some stages are dedicated to growing or just finding ourselves. But important is that no matter what happens, even if life throws difficult times at you, Important is to keep trying and keep pushing through that barrier. Push through the silk of your cocoon. Because before you know it, the end result will be beautiful. As long as you persist and as long as you keep growing. Thank you for watching everyone. This was Bart Coppens. I'm an online entomologist who studies moths. And over my channel you can watch over a thousand moth videos if you enjoy them. Hope to see you there. Like and subscribe. Bye bye.